and she's gonna be showing us how to do cashew cheese. She made it, I came here and she made some and it was so good. It's like the best cashew cheese that I've ever tried. So if you're vegan or if you don't really like to eat dairy or lactose, this is like uh, such a good alternative. <laughs> She's obsessed with it's cheese. so good. I'm I made like, her a huge jar for her birthday and she took every ounce of it. I'm like, just make me cashew cheese all the time. <laughs> so now I'm gonna learn how to make it myself so I don't have to bother you anymore. It's super easy. <laughs> okay, so what do you, we need? To okay. do this. So <laughs> what you need is obviously raw cashews and you want to soak them for half an hour to an hour if you can in hot water. Um, obviously you need some tortilla chips so you can dip taste it and, and dip and check it out <laughs> how you like it. And then um, nutritional yeast. I used the Bragg's brand. And then you need carrots and I season it with cayenne pepper garlic powder, and paprika, and of course, salt and pepper. Super easy, and then you need a blender. All right, so what's the first step? Okay, so first you wanna strain your cashews after you soak them. So, and then you want to chop your carrots up. And you start out with your cashews, your soaked cashews, and this is actually gonna make a lot. So this is a whole bag. Do you know how many ounces the bag was, the bag? No, because you threw it just, away. I'm sorry. I'll look, I'll look okay. up how much, how She'll many ounces out the bag is. <laughs> but I usually just make like a cup. So you can soak a cup of raw cashews and then you'll probably use a cup, like around a cup How of much do you water. think a cup would serve? Like how many people? A cup would serve, I feel like it would serve like four people. Okay, it's so if good, you have a small a, gathering, yeah, a cup is small, enough. Yeah, a cup is enough. If this you're is like, like, this is like, like four this is cups. Like, yeah, this is like two mason jars of cashew cheese. So I'm having a one and I get one. So. so then you take your cashews and you, uh, Put them into your blender. You just need some warm water. I boil like just like regular water, and I usually just use a cup. But since we're just making a lot of cashew juice today, I kind of winged it. So you just want to add enough water slowly and until you get your desired consistency. A lot of people like it thick, and some people like it like on the thinner side, and some people like it right in the middle where it's like nice and creamy. So, How do you make it? I feel like you make it creamy. Yeah, I make mine creamy. I like it creamy to where you can like make you some nachos if you want. Yeah. Like, pour it over, but not like runny. I don't like it runny. Add the water, and I really just add a little bit at a time. So, because it's going to be pretty thick. So then I like to add more water as we go along. So basically you just add I just add water you until, add slowly until mm -hmm. you get the consistency. Yeah. So don't just like throw a bunch of yeah. water in it, just add it slowly in. Add it slowly. Okay. Okay. So just I like that. to blend the cashews first. So just from that it's a nice Yeah, it's already creamy. creamy. It's like creamy. Yeah. And then I add the carrots. So carrots are to taste too. Like I found this recipe and I think they didn't add as many carrots as I would add because I like it to have like a nice, not sweet, but like, you know, carrot adds a little bit of sweetness yeah. to it. Kind of like some cheeses. Mm -hmm. But this one we use three carrots. And it also gives you that nice orange color that makes it look like real cheese. So is that where it comes from? <laughs> so now we're gonna season the cashew cheese. It's all blended, and this is just the cashews, soaked cashews, the water, and the carrots. And you see how you have that nice little cheese color, yeah. like nacho cheese? So I'm gonna season it. And I season it to taste, really. So I like to do garlic powder. I put a good amount of garlic powder I in love there. garlic. It just anything gives just everything. Gives me all the garlic. It makes everything so good. And then we have the nutritional yeast. And this is what gives it the cheesy flavor, just so you know. It's so how much delicious. of that do you think you need to add? Um, I usually add it to taste. Okay. I don't, I kind of like made this recipe up. 
I literally don't measure anything. I don't and every measure. time I do one of these recipe yeah. things, I'm like, I'm sorry, it's I don't just measure. It's easier <laughs> to do it sometimes to taste unless you're baking. Don't yeah, do yeah. this when you're baking. No, no, no. But when you're because some people so, like different like levels yeah. of flavor, so yeah. So, so I like to add a good amount of it. It's not gonna do anything if you, you know, it's just gonna be more cheesy than you flavored. But this is a really big batch of cashew cheese. And then I like to add a little spice, cayenne pepper, so that you probably won't play. And I like paprika. I usually like smoked paprika, but because it has more of like a smoky flavor, the paprika is really good. It's a good flavor. And then I add a little pepper, just regular black pepper. So I don't like a lot of pepper, just a little, because I'm not a big, like I don't want peppery cashew cheese, but it gives a good flavor. And then I add salt. So I learned this trick. Have you ever seen this? No, what? Ridges. Yeah, so there's ridges on the bottom. Is that and why I've it's always there? wondered why it's there. So if you do this, literally, like, it's how you get all of your salt out. You so cool. shut your mouth. Yeah, somebody <laughs> showed me this, and I was like, oh my god, the salt That's actually so cool. comes out. So even when you're at a restaurant and the salt's not coming out, all you do is take the other part. See, that's like one of you know those those like hack videos. It's like people design things for a reason, but I you have, have no, no idea, idea why. So you want to get a good little amount of salt in there. Probably there. You can also add things to it. Um, I've made a cashew crema before, like for tacos. It's really good. You just change it to. Uh, Cilantro, I add cilantro, a little bit of carrots, it's still white and creamy. And then uh, you can change the seasons around a little bit for that crema flavor. But yeah, that's what I usually add. And then that's it. And then you blend the seasonings together. That seasoning gave it more color too. Yeah, the red. The yeah, paprika. the paprika. So then it's so done. now it's done. Flavor is just how I like it. It's nice and creamy. It is literally the creamiest. And now you have your cashew cheese. It's perfect. Can we eat it? Now? Yes. <laughs> I'm starving. I was waiting all day to eat this. You didn't use all the carrots. But that's okay. You only use what you need. So yeah, you can use it like where you just dip chips in it, like nacho cheese. It's so good. Yeah, it's yeah. so so good. Like you need everyone to make this, especially if you can't eat cheese or you don't like cheese. It's really good. I make nachos with it. Or you're vegan. This is like the best, it's, this is the best one I've had. Cause a lot of people try it and they try it, but it doesn't work. Yeah. So what, like how else can you eat this? You can dip nachos in it. What else can, like how else can you eat it? I mean, I put it on my tacos. Like if I want a little bit of cheese on my tacos, I make pasta with it. Mmm. Like I take my that's pasta a good one. and I toss it in it. It's really good. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm gonna do that. And when you heat it, you want to either heat it like I, mean, I don't have a microwave, but you want to heat it in the microwave just on low heat, or you just want to take the jar out of the fridge because I keep them in mason jars, and it lasts up to three three to four days in a jar. Um, you want to take the jar out and like let it become room temperature. You can also sit it in some warm water. Okay, so you either take it out the jar, let it warm up. Yeah, That's yeah. how you warm it up. You warm or, it up, you can either take it out of the fridge and put out, it in some the warm water and let it warm up, or you can microwave it. Which I don't have to microwave. I don't have a microwave. Well, I have one because it comes to my apartment, but I don't microwave either. I haven't done it in like two years. Yeah. So. I haven't had a microwave. It's not my jam. I don't need radiation Four years. in my yeah. food, so I'm good. We've <laughs> become so accustomed to it. We yeah. just like steam our food, warm it up. It tastes better on the stove better. too. If you warm food up on the stove, it's so it's much better. better for you. Can so. you warm this up on the stove or no? You can warm it up on the stove. You just need to do it like on very, Super very low, low okay. heat, like the lowest, and just stir it as you go. Because you don't want to cook and it. you might need to, yeah, because when you cook it, it's going to thicken. So you might need to add a little water to it as you go. But super low heat. Low heat. Okay. Definitely. And you can make nachos. Did you say that? Yeah, nachos. That's my favorite thing to make. Oh my so Lily, now we have like so much, I'm gonna go home and like 
do pasta. I don't have to make pasta, nachos. I love making pasta with it. Like it's like almost kind of like a little Alfredo. Mm, There's a lot of things. So good. With <laughs> oh my gosh. So Just thank you, Tasha. Thank you so much for showing us how to make this. Now, this is like a trick because now I get to bring this cashew cheese home. She gets like a whole jar of cashew mm -hmm. cheese. <laughs> if you try this video, be sure to tag us. Let us know if you like it. Leave a comment below. Thank you always for stopping by. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. And leave comments if you do like the cheese. Yeah. Because we want to know what other we people think. know what you think of it, like, actually. Like, it's not like leave comments because we need comments. Like, we would like them because it's nice. But I just want to know what other people think Yeah. It. It's really easy to make. And it's, I promise you, it's delicious. Yeah. Because I love when you guys tell me, like, you tried something that's on my channel. Because there's no other way for me to know if you yeah. tried it. So, please let us know. It's so good. It's worth it. You'll be so happy you did it. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.